Welcome back to my channel, Liquor Ram Offroad. Today I'm gonna make a, a small video about the gear uh, ratios for my 35 inch tires. So let's uh, let's see. So the way I started with this one, it, it was uh, knowing you know what size of tire I was gonna use. So for me it was the 35 inches so for the 35 inches on this Jeep is a 2004 Jeep Wrangler for those 35 I'm using the 5.5 kit to lift it to make sure it doesn't rub or anything so so after I did that that it's not rubbing or causing problems after I did that is when I started trying to figure out the gear ratios. So some people have been asking me how this one work, you know, with the 4.88 years uh, ratios I have. I told them it work, it works pretty good. It has a very good uh, low end torque with the 4.88, and it works okay on the street. I can go up to the freeway and it works okay. It's not too bad. So they asked me how how do you figure out you know how how to do your math or how to calculate uh, which uh, gear ratio I was gonna use so I told them it there's a there's a formula you can use to do your math so I'm gonna show you guys the formula right here so you can Figure it out, you can learn with me. So this is, this is the formula that I use uh, to install the 4.88 gears. So first, what size uh, tire I was gonna use, so it's 35 by 3.73. This, it was a ratio, it was on the on the differentials front and back divided by 29 which is uh, the size of the old tires the factory tires and it was coming down to 4.50 the ratio approximate so the closest one it was 4.56 4.88 or 513 so for me, I wanted to use something good on the off-road and also good on the on the on the highway because I want to drive in the highway too, not only on the off-road. So for me, I rounded up to 4.88. That's the gear uh, ratio I have right now, and it works very good. It's very strong, and it works uh, okay on the highway. And this one, the 456, is good for, better for the street. When you use it more on the street, 456, 4.56. And this one is the one I have. It's good for the off-road and it also works for the highway. And here is another one you can use too. Is a 5.13. That one is good for, for a lot of crawling, you know off-road when you do a lot of rock crawling or whatever you do and you have a lot of low-end torque but I didn't use that for me it was 4.88 so that's the way I figured out you know which uh, gear ratio I was going to use and going back to the formula you know if you guys wanted to do your Jeep your truck or or whatever 4x4 four four you have and you want to you want to know how to calculate the gear ratio this is the formula so go ahead and copy that formula and when you get your approximate uh, ratio is when you decide which one you're going to use 456 488 513 
all depends on what size of tire you're going to use. So that's the way I calculate my uh, Jeep, uh, gear ratio. So it works very good for me, you know, no rubbing, no problem with the tires on my Jeep. And the gear ratio is uh, very strong on the off-road. The rear differential is a uh, Dyna 44. The front one is a Dyna 30. And I got uh, ARV lockers on both of them, front and back. So it works pretty good, you know, if you guys like my video if you guys want to do something similar to you beat uh to you to your jeep to your truck or whatever off-road car you have you can get that formula you can copy me and do your mat and put a bigger tire so if you guys like my video like and subscribe and share with your friends family whoever is with you doing off-road so like and subscribe and thank you very much for your time. See you in the next video.